What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody and today we are at the Biltmore Estate where I am gonna do a off-road experience with a 2018 Land Rover. Now, I've never actually been off-roading before and I've never actually driven a Land Rover, but my amazing wife for Christmas got me a Land Rover driving experience at the Biltmore. If you're not familiar with the Biltmore, it's a huge sort of mansion-y castle-like home uh, in Asheville, North Carolina. It's a big tourist place where you can come, but it's, it's got amazing stuff. It's got a beautiful home that you can tour. They have a whole bunch of other outdoor adventure stuff that you can do because it's just located out in the middle of, of nowhere, kind of near the mountains, and it's amazing. And they have this Land Rover driving experience where you go off-roading with a professional driver uh, in a Land Rover, and so that's what we're doing today. be a little bit of both more natural obstacles a little bit of built spiced in or okay. spaced in here and there gotcha and so. all right so i'm taking over controls of the uh land rover here and we're gonna see how well i do and hopefully i don't break anything so we want to just idle through again just kind of get the feel of it but also as you come on to a tilt you want to make that weight transition as gentle as possible there's also a natural tendency to want to steer into a hill, so you want to resist that urge as well um, because that can slide you sideways off of the hill. Mm -hmm. Now down through here, the terrain is, is uneven enough to where it causes some pull in the steering wheel, mm -hmm. but the trail being pretty straight, you just want to try to concentrate on keeping the wheel centered and just try to hold it center until you get to that that bottom pole there on the left and then we'll have to turn a little bit just for the trail get a nice little tilt as you go into this hole here and now you can start your turn to the right a little bit and this is where that right front wheel is going to be in the air for a moment right there And then right about there off the brake completely. It's scary to take off the brake. <laughs> Do you expect to just go flying forward? Sure, yeah. And uh, so the benefit of low range gearing right, and yeah. first gear itself. Far. And so, so far, it's very cool. Awesome. I don't nice. think my Suburban could do that. <laughs> Suburban might get high centered on the top of the hill up there, <laughs> mm -hmm. given the length. Especially important when you're trying to corner mm -hmm. to minimize the brake usage because there's only so much traction to go around and if you're trying to use it for steering and braking mm -hmm. that's where you can run out of traction quicker right. uh, and so we were just using it for steering only. It's just amazing how uh, how much clearance there really is and how much tilt this thing can take. I mean it feels like you know any second it's going to want to roll but I think yeah. it probably takes a lot more to roll this than I think mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, it, um, of course, these are purely for entertainment uh, purposes because you could roll at any angle. Uh, but yeah, it does kind of inspire that confidence uh, that the vehicle is stable, that it can handle it.
Now, are these the uh, the standard tires that come on it, or are these special tires designed for kind of handling this a little bit? No, more? these are the stock tires uh, from the factory. So we haven't uh, we actually haven't done anything to this vehicle to to send it out here. It's hmm. exactly like it came from the factory. Wow. This transition, so we're going to be tilted to the left, and then it transitions into a a tilt to the right. And so that right front wheel, it'll be for a moment, it'll be off the ground, not, very, not for very long. You see how there it felt completely wrong to hold it straight. Yeah. Like you were going to drive off the trail. Right, but it didn't go anywhere. But it, it just stayed in. The, yeah, in that's the rut that it was in. Got to rewire my brain for that a little bit because uh -huh. it really, you do feel like you're going to slip that way and you're uh -huh. trying to help it. All done that was awesome and i'm really excited we did this so thank you jessica for my birthday present or christmas present whichever one it was that's awesome <laughs> all right so that was really fun and i'm here with aaron aaron was my instructor aaron how'd i do oh you did excellent i must say one of the better outings that we've had this week that that makes me feel good because i was a little nervous at some points that i was going to be the one that rolled this thing for the first time ever but i, I guess know, I... we we kept it shiny side up rubber side down so it's all good good awesome thank you man yes sir. appreciate it have all a good right. one all right all right so that was incredibly fun i had a great time on the land rover experience aaron was an amazing instructor so thank you aaron for that appreciate it also thank you so much for the gopro mount and i just want to say that uh i learned so much i i have never done any off-roading like this before and learning the capabilities of that vehicle and just sort of understanding how to manage some of those obstacles sort of really it was it was pretty impressive that i was able to do some of these things especially the first time but some of those uh, obstacles i was sure i wasn't making over i was sure there was no way this this land rover was gonna be able to handle it and it handled it like like it was nothing like it was absolutely it was incredible and uh, anyway, it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. That's it. So if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. It helps out the channel a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe and become part of our community here. And until next time, have fun, God bless, and we'll see you later.